Hey, we are at the lake house. I just got another package. And no, it's nothing for the lake because it's winter time and too cold. I also did a order because you guys have seen um, we love our cast iron. So we ordered a new piece. So let's see what we got. Pretty creative wrapping. Very creative wrapping. So we have a handle. Just don't break the handle. Okay. So this is part of it. This is like Christmas all over again. I think it was ordered Christmas Eve. <laughs> from me, for right. myself. Yeah, for you. I see how it is. <laughs> Buying his own Christmas presents again. I love the marketplace. Yeah. So It's an addiction. So this guy um, has a cast iron restoration business from Perryville, Kentucky. Perryville, Kentucky is a place, um, this is a Civil War battlefield area. I have actually toured that before years and years ago, over 20, probably over 20, 20 years ago. And so somehow you found this uh, right. in Kentucky? Actually, well, we've been married 20 years. So it's been about 18 years. Ago. So yeah. you found this in Kentucky? Yep. And uh, we finagled it and had it shipped. All right. Very nice, looking good. Bottom or the top, I'm not sure yet. Oh, so vintage. It's uh, patented. So. It says patented February twenty second, nineteen ten, Wagner Sydney. One hundred and ten years old. One hundred and ten year old cast iron crime deterrent. If you had to wax somebody, <laughs> um, or just a good waffle maker. So anyway, it's very cool. You could probably even do one side or the other if you wanted to try something like that. Um, Pretty cool. Open it up. Here's the I like back. the handles. It's already seasoned. I mean, it looks very, it looks like excellent condition. And so what's this part of it? So that part... I see. Ah, this is where. I see. You can flip it. Uh, okay. Okay. This is way ahead of its time. Yeah, it was. No mechanic or no electronics. Nothing to break. I was it's excited when the hotels started offering that kind of. So flip your waffle. This is a uh, before the Holiday Inn uh, waffles at the hotel. I mean, this is the original real deal waffle maker pretty cool so we will have to do a video once we get it on the uh, wood stove or something like that or i imagine you can basically just basically just flip it or if it was on a open fire you could rotate it um, if you had a open base on the bottom so really cool vintage piece 110 years old um, stood the test of time a wagner uh, sydney uh, cast iron waffle maker so really cool Get that thing warmed up. Uh, but today I'm going to put on a a little bit of the uh, pecan syrup because we just did that trip. We had our pecan giveaway and I bought a little bit of pecan syrup um, down in Georgia. So anyways, a way of uh, supporting the pecan farmers. So what do you like to put on yours? So this is what it looks like empty. Right now we're just kind of warming it up. And you can pick it up. Flip it over.
So this is our first one coming off. Oh yes, golden brown goodness. Look at that, perfect. So really cool. Um, it has different numbers and letters. Some of you people are uh, cast iron experts, probably more so than I am. It's got an R there, and it's got a O on this side of the handle. Um, wooden handle, so actually it stays cool, but obviously if you touch any of that metal, it's going gonna, it's gonna to burn you. Um, so I don't know if anybody knows what any of those type of letters mean. I don't know if it means rotate or over. I'm not sure what those mean. But uh, really cool set. First one came out with uh, Golden Delicious. Um, so we got to get some uh, pecan syrup butter, maybe a little sugar on it because I like sugar. Um, so anyways, what do you like on your waffles and all that? And you have a favorite waffle maker. Do you like the electric one that makes four square ones? Um, do you like the toaster that makes your little Eggo waffles? But um, anyways, uh, it's a really cool set. And um, you know, you just wonder how many generations of people uh, ate off that. So maybe it's somebody you didn't like. But yeah, really cool stuff. Yeah, you wonder if this these were a, a wedding gift for some couple that was married 50 years. You wonder if it was a Mother's Day gift. Um, you wonder how much it cost back then. I'll have to look. But uh, pretty cool history. Um, so I bought this uh, waffle iron set um, from Cast Iron Restorations. Uh, the guy is out of Kentucky, I believe. I will put his Facebook link below. Um, does a really nice job on restoring uh, cast iron items. Um, I don't know how often he gets it, but I just I just happened to be scrolling through uh, Facebook looking up cast iron stuff, and I found his site. And um, this set was uh, shipped everything. It's kind of a heavy set, but anyways, shipped everything. It was 135 bucks. So, anyways, obviously if it's lasted a uh, um, over a hundred year patent um, should still last a long time and American made so pretty cool stuff and uh, it's cool supporting somebody who uh, restores um, uh, some history